already did our first row right through here. And now we're onto our main row. Our main row is gonna have the most hair on it. And then we suction it off. Her part line is right on the side here. So it's gonna be nice and beautiful once we get those beads in. And then we'll probably maybe do a mini. We'll kind of see what everything looks like, but it's looking really good. It's gonna be beautiful. So we got her beads in. They're approximately an inch apart. So all the wefts will be right on through here. And then once we get the wefts on, then we'll redo her end bead. You can kind of see that it's like flicking up here. So that just needs to lay down just a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, we'll get more blonde all up in there and then style her out. We might not need a mini, but we'll We'll see. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Um, yeah, looking pretty good. take out the top here and see if we do need a mini but otherwise the two main lefts are done it's nice and blended now I gotta style it out should be good Uh, we only did two rows. I wasn't sure if we would have to do a mini, but we didn't because our hair on top is pretty long. So all I did was really just blend it. But everything is super just beautiful. All right. Do you want to turn around? Yeah, cool. Yes. Beautiful. Like so good. Yes, look at that. Those are like really good beach waves. Like, I feel like I could never do that good in my <laughs> I'm like, I always do that. Seriously. Uh, so. so good. Awesome. <laughs> it's done. Oh uh, my gosh. Sarah outdid herself. It feels so good, like, on my head. Like, it feels secure. Not, like, super tight or anything. Doesn't, like, feel bad at all. And, like, I wasn't expecting it to. <laughs> Forewarning. But, um,. I am just so excited to see how this goes for like the next couple months and I will let you guys know like in full detail because I've done tape-ins, I've done clip-ins, but I've never done NBR so stay tuned and see how it ends. Okay friends, so it's been about, let's see, I would say a couple weeks now. I think I've washed my hair a couple times with the hair extensions and I wanted to give you guys a quick little like short term review on these and I would say that I've been loving these since day one and continue to because the care is so freaking easy compared to the tape-ins and the clip-ins that I've used before. Like I wanted to do this video with my ponytail that I had I just was working out and it is freaking amazing like you cannot see any of the extensions and like it doesn't hurt doesn't pull at my head or anything so I'm literally loving these and would highly suggest them if you are looking to invest in hair extensions these are the ones that I would invest in um, tape-ins I've found when I try to put it up in a high pony which is my goal with extensions um, I felt like I 
couldn't hide the t where the tape was and that it would kind of get caught and it was really uncomfortable. And the clip-ins, obviously, it's like just really hard to get those up without like pulling at your head and like all that stuff. So really liking these, would highly suggest them if you are looking into them. And if you have any questions, please just comment below and I will try and answer the best I can. And if you are looking for a good person, Sarah Huff in Holland, Michigan at Arter and Grit. She is amazing. Um, I met her on social media and she has done a fantastic job. So if you're looking for one in Holland, Michigan, she's your girl. So like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I will see you guys in the next video.